Okay, so here we've got to factorise these expressions. And factorise means put back into brackets. So we've expanded something to end up with this here. So what we're going to do is write this back in brackets. So first of all, we're going to take out the common factors, what's in both of these. And what's in both of them is the number 3, because 3 goes into 3 and 3 goes into 6. So I'm going to have 3 lots of something, which will go in here, to give me 3a. So 3 lots of something must be 3a. Well, that must be a, because 3 lots of a would be 3a. And then I've got 3 lots of this next thing over here will give me 6. Well, that must be 2, and not only that, it must be positive 2. So the expanded version of this is now this, and I can check that because 3 lots of a, 3a, 3 lots of 2, plus 6. Next one, take out the common factors. What's in both of these? Well, 4 is in both of these, and I'm always going to try and take the biggest possible number because it should technically say factorise fully because you could take 2 but 2 wouldn't be the best possible answer to do it fully you've got to take 4 so 4 lots of something would give me 4x well that's got to be x and then 4 lots of something will give me minus 16 that's got to be minus 4 again check it works by expanding it backwards 4 lots of x is 4x 4 lots of minus 4 is minus 16. Same again here, although the question is just a little bit longer. Common factor in each of those again is 4. So I'm going to take the 4 outside the brackets. 4 lots of something will be 8k. Well, 4 lots of something is 8. To give us 8, well, it must be 2. So 4 lots of something to give us 8k must be 2k. And then we've got 4 lots of something to give me 4w. That's just going to be W. And then 4 lots of something, again, on the end to give us 12Z. Well, that's just going to be 3Z. Okay, Slightly different type of question here, because there's no number that's the common factor, so I can't just take a number outside the brackets. So here I've got to take a letter outside the brackets, and the letter that appears in both of those is X. So we've got X lots of something will give me x squared well x times by x is x squared and then x times by something will give me positive 7x well that must be plus 7 because x times 7 is 7x and you can check that as normal here there's no number that goes into 3 and 5 so I can't take a number again but I can take that x outside the brackets x lots of something will give me 3x squared. Well, x times x was x squared, because we had that a second ago. Um, so x times something will give me 3x squared. That must just be 3x. And then x lots of something will give me minus 5x. And that's just minus 5. Now, the next one's a little bit trickier, because in this, there's two things we can take outside the brackets. There's both 4, which goes into 4 and 12, and there's an x in both of these. So what I'm going to do is take both of them outside the bracket. So 4x is going outside the bracket. And I need to do that if I'm going to factorise it fully. So 4x times by something will give me 4x squared. And that's got to be another lot of x. And then 4x times by something will give me 12x. Well, 4 into 12 is 3. And that's positive 3 because 4x times by 3 will be 12x. Final couple. Again, both of these are going to have more than one thing to take outside the brackets. There's a number that goes into 15 and 6, which is 3. And there's an x in both of these. So I'm going to take 3x outside the brackets. And I've got 3x lots of something will give me 15x. Well, 3 lots of 5 is 15. So 3x times by 5 will give me 15x. And then I've got 3x times by something will give me 6x squared. Well, 3 times something to give me 6 must be... That's minus 6, sorry. 3 lots of something to give me minus 6 must be minus 2. And then I've got x times by something to give me the x squared. 
that's another lot of X. And I can expand that to check it, just like all the others. Down here, again, we've got a number that goes into both of those, which is 2. And we've also got uh, an A in both of them. So I'll take that outside the brackets. And we've also got a B in both of them. So I'll take that outside the brackets as well. So now we've got 2AB times something, which goes in here, to give me 8AB squared. Well, 2 times something to give me 8, that's got to be 4. Um, I don't need to times the A by anything because I've already got an A here. But B, this B times by something must get me B squared. So that's got to be another lot of B. And then we've got the next part, 2AB times something will be minus 6. Well, 2 times something to give me minus 6, that's got to be minus 3. And minus 3 times by 2AB will be minus 6AB. And that's what I wanted. So that's that question done.